Hey guys and welcome back all to my channel. This is my first sit down video of 2023 and it is going to be the follow on to my panto vlog which yes was a short one but it was also the first one of the year. I have it linked up above and down below for you guys and that was obviously our annual visit to panto. We didn't do that during covid but we have started that up again and I'm going to talk you through everything from the buying the tickets to arriving, how chill everything everything was, to any ups and downs we may have had, and also whether I'd recommend doing it for young children, children with additional needs, things like that. So for a little bit of information, we went to Nottingham Royal Theatre to see Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. We did buy a programme and this particular show had Joe Pasquale who was Muddles and then Faye Toza as the Wicked Queen. We bought our tickets earlier in the year, I want to say around my birthday. You can actually start buying them now, which we are going to actually do real soon for this year's, but we bought our wheelchair tickets from the actual venue so when you book online you only get normal tickets if you want a wheelchair space you have to physically go into our venue this may differ from different theatres so do check with your local theatre make sure you're checking their website calling them whatever you need to do we choose to get ours early just because we found that's how we get the best seats this year we got our wheelchair spot in the upper dress circle so that's sort of the one above the stalls and that's on the first level so you probably saw from the vlog but I'll put some clips in here. This was at the very back of the area but it was on a platform section so there's stairs to go down. We were on that very back platform bit where Little One had an amazing view of the stage, of the backdrops. He could see everything if anything, well if I say if, when a car came up into kind of the air it was a very good position for him and if we can't get a stall wheelchair seat we will opt for preferably getting that one as well. But we were also going to look into how much getting a wheelchair box was. Just because it would be a different experience. It would give little one a little bit more room. And would also mean that he didn't have to worry about people walking past him or anything like that. But obviously I will talk you through all that in a year's time when we go to Pento again. So for this showing this was actually a relaxed showing which meant the music was a little bit quieter than you would get in a standard showing. The house lights were on but they weren't dim and they weren't selling their souvenirs, their light up swords, things like that until after the show. If you were booking as a carer an additional of these, adult or child, they had a carers pack online which you could click the link to and that gave you all the information from time of how long each half would be, how long the interval would be, roughly how long coat rooms and things like that would be open for and how to get from each floor as well as where the disabled toilets were and they also supplied you with pecs so that you could print those off and have those for your child if you use them. We didn't actually use them just because I didn't bother to check until after said show which was my own fault. I normally do all of that, not mum. I just didn't check. We were very busy during December so that will be something that I will make sure I'm pre-organised with and I'm ready for for the next showing but also if you need a visual story they have that as well in a whole separate link. Well ours did anyway so that is a great aspect from Nottingham the Royal Theatre is that they are aware of the many different needs of additional needs adults and children and they were already accommodating before we even arrived which I think is wonderful. They did ask us to get there half an hour early so the performance started at half past two. We were asked to get there for two just to allow for getting into our spot but also arriving earlier meant that little one was able to go to the snack counter and actually pick what snacks he wanted. He These snacks actually were cheaper than I thought they were going to be and they ranged from around two pound to four pound uh, and he picked for his first half he picked a bag of sweets and a can. We we all had a bag of sweets and I can eat and then during intermission mum went and got him another drink and um, a little bit more sweets. Obviously we don't give him pop every day, we try and avoid doing that, we try and avoid giving him too many sweets but this was a special occasion and we tend to indulge him a little bit more than we would normally do and he actually didn't eat all his sweets at all and he told me to put them in his bag so we could take them home and I actually believe he's only just finished those particular chocolates from there as in 
the last few days. So he was very good and he knew when he was done. He had a wonderful time. So moving on to staff. When we arrived through the whole performance, everyone was lovely. We had a lovely lady who helped us move the seats out of the way to make sure we got little one in the perfect position. He did sit in his wheelchair. He has a wheelchair, if you didn't know, because he finds outings very overstimulating. He does walk. We do have an even amount of walking to wheelchair use. He has the wheelchair and he tends to sit in it for pantos, for eating dinner out, things like that, just because it's a safe space for him. He feels secure and safe. And it also gives him a chance to desensitize from the world, whether that be pulling his coat over his head or chewing on something. And people tend to give him a little bit more space when he's in his chair. So we did obviously take his chair. We did sit him in his chair for panto just because it also, because it, he has a, a belt on it, we can confine him a little bit more, particularly if he is, he is using his rocking stem. We find that with his belt on for his wheelchair, his rock, he still can rock. He has the ability to rock. We're not stopping him from doing that, but it's a lot calmer. It's not so rough where he is lifting. If he's doing it stood up, he'll lift one foot completely off the floor. So that was another thing we were taking into account is his stimming. We definitely needed his chair, but during intermission he did get up. But getting back to staff, everyone was lovely. A lovely lady did come and help us make sure that he was in the right position, let us know we couldn't film or take pictures during the actual performance. We could film the area before or during intermission. We couldn't film during the actual show, which was fine, which is part of the reason the vlog was so short, if that makes sense. Now, we did have a little bit of a hiccup with staff in the after show. In accessibility wise, there are stairs and then one lift. It is a glass lift. This lift fits two wheelchairs and three kind of standing up people. Now, this lift was being used by anyone and everybody and one member of staff particularly was making rather snarty faces and was being rude to other members of the public, not us, about using the lift to go all the way up to the very top floor instead of using the stairs. I do appreciate that that's a lot of stairs and it was the end of the performance that everyone was swarming out but that lift is there for people who generally need it. Now I could have helped little one down the stairs and had mum take the chair down in the lift as she could. The only problem with that was there were so many people that he probably would have got about halfway down the stairs and started panicking because he would have felt rushed and so I just made the decision to wait it out. He's not very good with glass lifts and I appreciate that you can only do what you have but I think maybe not having a glass lift would have been better for that particular venue particularly because it is sort of it's up against a wall it, uh, you can see everyone you can see down it can be kind of disconcerting um um, and that's someone, you know, me, who, who can mask and deal with being in public. Uh, whereas little one obviously can't. My mom's not very good with glass lifts either. But it was doable. We only had to go up one floor. That was really our only hiccup with members of staff at the time. As you will know from the vlog and I think past and my knee and pretty much most of my vloggers videos I had very little voice thanks to the virus that I got so I got the mystery virus that was going around and I had that for about a month I'm only just starting to get better and you know members of staff were great you know they would lean in they would point make sure I that was what I was asking for we were able to use contactless payment I don't carry a lot of cash around with me anymore so everyone was very accommodating after the fact they double checked what color he wanted because they only had solid color. He made sure that we understood that it was only one solid color, which works better for little one. He got to pick between red, green, and blue. Little one loves the color red, so he picked red. We're fine with that. As I said, the staff were very lovely. They were very accommodating. They were very helpful. You know, when we came out during intermission, they helped him get in a chair. They helped him um, when he wanted to go look at their chill out area. So they had established a relaxing zone so that if anyone needed to take a break from the actual performance. There were tons of bean bags with um, two tellies. We could still watch the performance. The little one didn't use that. Much to my surprise, I was pretty sure we were gonna have to go out there at one point. Um, but no, he had a great time. He got a little bit frightened at the mirror, but once he realized it wasn't real, a electronic arm. So because he couldn't originally see the arm lifting the mirror up and down, little one did freak out a little bit, but he was fine. He didn't wanna leave the performance. He was just unsure and he buried himself into my 
side. And once he realised, because he got a glimpse of the metal, that there was something up it, lifting it and lowering it, and that she wasn't really using magic, he was less freaked out. And obviously there was a goblin and things in it for the magic mirror. When he was sitting in the bean bags and he was giggling and things like that, people, the staff were interacting with him. One particular staff member helped me get him back to his chair because my mother had gone to the bathroom and he was excited because the show was starting. So they helped me get him to his chair and made sure, you know, it was situated because I was trying to carry drinks and things at the same time. So that was lovely. They didn't have to help. When they give you these time frames of how long the first half, second half and intermission will be, take the information with a little bit of a grain of salt because you never know what's going to happen, particularly in a relaxed performance. Ours actually ran over a little bit because the cast, particularly Joe Pasquale, um, was very good at taking a minute, letting the kids, the kids that could as well, really kind of get the momentum of booing and cheering and all those things and getting the phrases right because obviously they might struggle with those things so he was great and he also had a very good balance of children appropriate humor and adult humor that was going straight over the kids heads and now most pantos do but he was really good at that he made sure that us parents carers really felt included and I think it was lovely the way he interacted from the stage with the kids he was Joe Pasquale was the one that came out with the sign interpreter who was stood in the corner the whole time now little one does use a mixture of BSL sign language and Mechaton I grew up using the basics of BSL as a child due to chronic ear infections so that was actually quite useful for both him and me in sections where I couldn't always hear here over the kids cheering and little one did actually get a giggle out of it because he understood some of what she was signing which made him feel a lot more included and understood and I think it was very good of the pantomime to make sure that she was recognized and somebody came out and introduced her and point you know let everyone know where she was gonna be that she'd be there through the whole show what her name was and they very much included her in the bow at the end as well which I thought was very good I know a lot of places do that but some places also come completely ignore them. As I said in the intro, we have already decided to book for the this year's panto, which is actually, we already know is going to be Dick Whittington. This is one of Little One's favourite pantomimes and it has Shane Ritchie in it this year. So we are going to book that. We're going to go in end of January, I believe, to try and get that booked. We are going to try and get a similar seat that we got to this year. The reason we're choosing to book is we found that Little One loves these. I'm actually going to see if there's any shows for him during the year because it's another stimuli for him and it's also an experience that he would normally miss out on that he doesn't have to. There were definitely some shows that I looked on the website for our local theatre that worked for, Nathan, for worked for Little One. The reason that we go to that particular theatre out of all our local theatre, all our local theatres, is just because that one is the best for accommodating for Little One's needs. Honestly, I would recommend a relax showing if you have children under the age of like three or four or you have adults or children with additional needs I would check your local theatre see what they do see uh, what their accommodations are they are pretty good at listing all of those things on the website if you can't book on the website for a wheelchair spot and you need a wheelchair spot I would recommend ringing them up or just going in when you're nearby just because the sooner you get the tickets the the better seat you're gonna get and obviously with it being a relaxed showing they do have accommodations your kids can be a little bit louder they can rock in their seats a bit more you are gonna get adults who buy tickets for shows like that with no understanding of why that show is there and who it's for but that's you know that's just what it is and that seems to be a running theme for really the last few years is that people don't necessarily understand why there's accommodations for a multiple of disabilities whether it's visible or not so honestly if you have been considering it and you've been putting it off because you you're not sure you don't think your little one could sit still enough you, they have additional needs and you think they're gonna squeal and cry and make sure you have you know ear defenders chew toys all those things make sure you're preparing them but really do go check out those relaxed showings because I think you'll find that it's an experience even if you only do it once that your little one will love or your adult will love and at least you know that you tried and they got that experience that you wanted them to get because a lot of these theaters are very accommodating and they do understand. A 
thank you for making it this far into the video. Very much appreciated. If you enjoyed it, you just like seeing my face, or you found any of the information I gave useful, go ahead and click that thumbs up button for me, guys. I will leave all the information for everything I just mentioned down below. But before we go to the end slate, check out the social medias that are appearing somewhere on the screen around my head. These give you a bit more of an insight of behind the scenes of these videos, my life as a carer, and just who I am as a person. But also on my Instagram, we do Q and A Mondays. I ask for your input on videos and just so much more. So so go ahead and do check those out. I hope if you've been on the fence about doing a relaxed showing of pantomime, I've managed to tip it so that you will just try it even just once and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.